I ordered another UPS na Lazada, this time it is the Fortress UPS 800i. It is much expensive than the ProLink, but it may be safer than the ProLink Pro 701 SFC because the ProLink one exploded. Check one of my recent video. I ordered this from the different seller. Here are the specifications of the UPS. Post the video if you want to read them. It has 8 sockets, 4 are search only and 4 are search plus battery backup sockets. There are some one-star reviews, some units are dead on arrival, some are drained easily. Here are the other available UPS that you can buy when I made this video. This is what it looks like after unboxing. There are two styrofoam, unit in the plastic, and the wire cord for input power. Here are the outlets for search and for search plus battery backup outlets. You can see the warranty sticker and the user manual. So if you can see this is much smaller than the ProLink UPS from the recent video. This means that this UPS has lesser battery capacity than the ProLink. Note. The ProLink Pro 701 SFC has 8.2 AH battery capacity. This UPS may only have 4.5 AH or 5 AH battery. According to the sticker on the UPS, the output is 220 volts. Here is the cord with the marking that it is 18AWG or American wire gauge. It looks like 18AWG since it cannot easily be bended. This is the male plug. You need an earthed or grounded outlet to use this UPS. The circle thing is the breaker. It prevents the unit from short circuit and overloads. To reset it, just press it.
you should only draw low power on this unit to prolong its life and battery backup time. Don't plug the UPS to its own outlet. Don't plug in laser printer to the UPS. Whenever the battery backup is activated, the UPS will beep. If you are not going to use this UPS for a long time, charge it every 6 months for 10 hours depending on the temperature range. The specifications shown here are shown on the Lazada product page. The LED color is blue and it started after plugging into the mains outlet. If you will notice, the manual says that there should be green LED in this UPS, but there are not green LED, only blue and red LED. Checking the household mains voltage, it is around 240 volt AC. According to the seller, the unit needs to be recharged after receiving it. This is the voltage when the battery backup mode is active or mains power is lost. It is only 161 volt AC and not 220 volts. The digital multimeter is malfunctioning, that's why it looks like only 16 volts. When the mains power is present, it shows 240 volts and still not 220 volts. Testing the UPS to power my LCD monitor while watching and simulating a mains power failure. Monitor is now being powered by the UPS battery backup. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.